Welcome back to Rhythm and Rome Model River Club. Today we're going to talk about Atlas switches. Um, Code 83 and Code 100 are made the same. Um, this is like a 30 here, and that's like a 22 or something. But I ran a train and it derailed. We had some issues yesterday on the passenger set. It was derailing, and I found out why. It's the frogs. They're not made quite right for our older stuff. It's made for the newer stuff. Um, I'm gonna hold it up here a little bit, and hopefully it focuses. Well, anyway, let's see something here. Now uh, you can see how deep the flanges are. Okay, it's like the older stuff. That's a Bachman there. And come over here, and you can see how the Walter wheels are, has a thinner flange. So, what I had to do might make most of you guys nervous, but it doesn't make me nervous at all. I took a file and filed it down in there a little bit just to go and clean it down there far, even farther, and done the same thing over on this side so I'm going to show you um, down this way now let's see how the frog is up higher so if I'm around this across this is my test thing and I could feel it raise here on this one side For some reason this side's okay I don't understand that but down on here I can feel it rise up right there boom and then back down so I'll show you what I had to do my big old that arm got in the way and just take a this is like a points file and I hold it like I don't know 45 maybe 30 degree angle and I'll put, I pushed it down too far and just kind of like just do that a few times and, and we're getting it clean now now I'll try it again we're almost there and you just gotta go do it keep going a little bit we're getting there okay now oh yeah just like butter just like butter nice and now I'll show you the next one we have okay here's the zetter curve switch we have and if I roll this across there no problem oh no I made it stop. No problem. Okay, here's a Bachman one. Did you see it? See, it lifts up. So I'll show you how to fix this real quickly. And the same process is the same thing. Just take it like this and just kind of run it down back and forth back just like that so i'm gonna go ahead and pause it real quick okay let's go ahead and try this again yeah it rolls much better and it'll and there's a few just a little bit in one area it's just right up in here and sometimes you gotta take a look oops sorry guys just like that just kind of file it down a little bit just a little bit there and that should be good and i need a little, a little more here Oh yeah, that's much better now. Check it out. Much better. See how it stopped? So I got a little bit more to do right in here. 
See, the, there's a plastic piece that goes in between it. You just got to file down the plastic a little bit. And I think a little bit on this side too. I can get my... Okay, let's run the... Uh, like butter. Nice. Now this this is the uh, Walters one. It rolled real nice too. So hopefully that's a good tip for you guys. That's just a point file. You could use any kind of file. That's what I had laying around. And here's the, just to show you that these are the switches we bought. One of the club members bought that one. And here's this other one. And there's that one. But these ones here are DCC friendly. It's the newer stuff. So, see, we got the older ones from the Atlas. So see how much wider that's got a space compared to right there? I'll show you. Okay, here's a regular number six. So if I put side by side, you can see how much. Let me see something here. You see how much of a gap I got we got here compared to here. That was the issue. So it's it's made for like the the newer stuff and everything. So they're not really thinking about us, you know, with the deeper flange wheels and stuff. So hopefully this helps you guys out quite a bit. All right. If you got any questions or anything, or put a comment down below or something. All right. I'll see ya.